Good evening, everyone. Episode seven or week seven, however you want to look at it. Um, tonight, we're going to talk about feeding of 5,000 in the same breath that we talked about the last two weeks with the, the key factor being God's number secrets and what numbers mean to him and why they are significant. So now when Yehoshua heard this, he went away uh, from there privately by boat to an isolated place. <coughs> but when the crowds heard, they followed him on foot from the towns. As Yehoshua came ashore, he saw a large crowd and felt compassion for them and healed their sick. Then Yehoshua said, they don't have to leave because the disciples thought these people are famished. They haven't eaten in three days. Uh, interesting that it was three days. No coincidence. There's no word for coincidence in Hebrew. But then Yehoshua said to them, they don't need to leave. You give them something to eat. Well, the disciples think, we got nothing. I don't even have a fishing pole. I can't even catch one fish. We have nothing except five loaves and two fish. And we've talked about this before. Um, five loaves, that actually is, the, the word there in Greek represents almost a cracker, about that size. And the two fish, the only fish that they would have, the, the majority of fish caught out of the, Gal the Sea of Galilee, especially in that area, were sardines, minnows. So you got five crackers and two minnows. And Jesus says, feed them. The disciples are, you know, five, we're going to talk about that. Five is the number of grace in Hebrew. Two, unity. Look at, the, look at the Bible, the first two chapters in the Bible. Heaven and earth are in perfect harmony, perfect unity. Man and God are in perfect harmony and perfect unity. Um, there is no sin, there is nothing. It, it, heaven and earth, whatever is good in heaven is good on earth, and that's the way God intended it. The last two chapters of the Bible, Revelation 21 and 22, it, it's entering into eternity where heaven and earth are now again back in unity and harmony and God and man are in unity and harmony um, and Jew and Gentile no longer exist. So they, are, they have become one. So if you look, if you look at that, we, um, uh, we, we know that, that God is saying that through that, um, uh, we we have one purpose, and we have um, by grace and through unity that God is going to bring everything back together. And and then He says, "How many baskets did you pick up? Twelve. And what is the number twelve in Hebrew? It is government. So um, He's saying that by grace through unity of Jew and Gentile." I'm bringing the government of heaven, which is the kingdom of heaven, to earth. You no longer have to fear death. You no longer have to fear sin. You no longer have to feel sick, uh, fear sickness. Everything is put, in, put into your hands. So, again, numbers are very critical. So, um, if you have any more questions, please go to streetlightgr.com, Facebook. Um, and, again, have a blessed day. I mean that sincerely, but even more importantly, be a blessing to others. Thank you for tuning in.